Hello. Hi. So, my first question is, it's a cool if I, in well, not really interview, because this is going to be a special little segment I'm doing. And if people recognize this lovely, lovely outfit, um, it's a cool if I film you. Yes, definitely. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, this is a great dress, by the way, and it's so Thank cute. You. <laughs> is it true you got to catch them all? Yes, you got to catch them all. <laughs> Personally, though, I mean, I only go for the ones you absolutely, definitely want. I don't think that there's power in commodifying everything and uh, accumulating <laughs> everything that you that just for the sake of accumulating. If you just get the stuff that you want or that's necessary for your, you know, desires and needs, I think you progress and become the very best. <laughs> um, so this this dress, um, I'm actually pretty stoked that technically I I think I'm the first video like interviewer for your dress. It's a, like, yeah, it's definitely the first video documentation of this dress. <laughs> and I'm very 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 stoked that you and agreed to let me film you in this awesome dress. Um, <laughs> and this dress is Snorlax. Yes. From Pokemon. Number um, 143. Well, hi, dude, you know the number. <laughs> <laughs> Were you about to ask me that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, so, how are you dealing with uh, your internet celeb? And this, this dress has definitely made the rounds with uh, lots of my friends have sent me lots of posts <laughs> like, your friend has got this Norlex dress. <laughs> um, how, you, how has that affected you? Um... Honestly, it's still pretty overwhelming, even though it's been on the internet for about three or so months now. Um, I mean, I know that it made its rounds through the fashion uh, communities first, and I find it kind of funny that two months later, then it started going on all the nerd websites like Kotaku and Comics Alliance. Okay. But I'm actually pretty thrilled. Um, I mean, it's really great to know that people are responding pretty uh, positively towards it for the most part, and the people who aren't responding positively are just mad hating. It's actually pretty funny because I mean like whatever. I can't no way. I I can't believe there's haters, dude. You're well, so you uh, know, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, just they're, the they're, interweb. Yeah, there they're people who yeah, who are just gonna hate on whatever just for the sake of hating, you know? Totally, totally. And maybe they just didn't like Pokemon, maybe they're Digimon fans. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um so since you, I definitely met you, and you've definitely been, like, all your outfits uh, on Wednesdays, especially new comic books, comic book day, you definitely have outfits that, according to um, comic books that have come out. Um, is there any, I know right now everybody's talking about the new Jim Lee Wonder Woman that yes. came out. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, real quick, uh, is there any... Other than Wonder Woman, is there any villains or superheroes that you would do a makeover or anything that you really dig? Um, well, I've always, I've always based most of my outfits for a long time around um, characters from Batman. To be honest, um, I feel, I feel like of all the comic books out there, the palette that they use for every single character in that, uh, whether they're rogues or um, heroes. I really like what they do with every one of their looks for the most part. They have a great like variety for one and I think that they play a lot with aesthetics and how they relate to their psychoses and you know their themes and I think that that makes it all the more fun to for someone like me who's very creative and a designer to enjoy and I think that that definitely played a big part in my involvement in fashion growing up and art and all that. Cool. And for all the people that are watching this and who are curious how she made this dress, if you go to... Um, yeah, if you go to my DeviantArt um, account, you guys can um, find my style dress and I list off um, some very brief tips on how to make it. And if you have any trouble, just feel free to message me and I'll, I'll help you out as much as I can. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and, and my other curious question is, this year, um, you are planning on going to the Holy Grail. <laughs> yes, um, nerd prom. <laughs> yes, yeah, a nerd prom. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, other than comic book artists and seeing, like, um, sneak peeks of comic books and toys, uh, is there any other cosplay, co cosplay, cosplay?
cosplay players or um, costume designers that you are looking to forward to seeing? Um, definitely. At San Diego Comic Con, I really hope to um, run into some of my favorite bloggers like the Nerdy Bird, um, who does this great blog called um, Has Boobs Read, Reads Comics. Um, <laughs> awesome. And uh, also, uh, I, I love Ruby Rocket, who uh, Lulu yeah, Bonanza yeah. told me about. <laughs> and I absolutely adore her. And I haven't actually heard any updates on her, but I really hope that she's there as well. Um, but for the most part, I'm really um, excited to run into um, a lot of people at the Geek Girls uh, party uh, on Friday night because there's going to be a ton of uh, female lady geeks, and I, I it's always fun to meet other girl nerds and see what they're wearing, you know? Yeah. Because I think that there is a definitely a surgence lately of um, a resurgence. I don't, I don't think surgence is the word, but a resurgence of a. Uh, of, lady nerds who are really into fashion and comics and I think that's a really great uh, thing to bond over and a great community community to, yeah, yeah. to thrive on especially for girls nowadays you know is there any uh, speaking of girls in comics um, what was the first comic book that you read ever um, it was probably either one of the oh, let me think I'm trying to remember it was probably one of the Batman archives, um, or one of the compilations of the old 1940s Batman uh, um, comics. Do you have? But it? I also, <laughs> sorry, sorry. But I also, I also remember reading um, Ranma one half. Oh, um, Ranma. Yeah, back when, uh, back when I was maybe in uh, the fifth grade, which is kind of a young age to read it, but I, I, I adored that. Um, but yeah, I would read um, Ranma and Batman for the most part. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah. Um, is there any, like, any advice that you would give to new new girls or new readers or girls that are gonna see this and like? Um, that you would definitely, like to don't be intimidated by uh, comic books. I know there's a huge um, variety of uh, comics, and it can be a little daunting to try to get into something like the Justice League or just DC or Marvel because they're separate universes are just so vast. But if you start off small, like with the either if you want to get to Batman, start with Batman Year One or Batgirl Year One. If you want to get like specific on certain characters, I definitely think that it helps um, looking on Comic Vine or Comic uh, on uh, Wikipedia or just try to figure out their bibliography, try to figure out their timelines, and do a little background research for these characters, and then you know look up uh, some books that you might want to check out. I definitely recommend asking your friends for recommendations um, because there are a ton of comics out there and I think that's a great thing that um, there's almost everything, something out there for everyone. Awesome, awesome. So yeah. Um, I also was told there's going to be a new Pokemon game coming out next year and if you've seen any, are there any of those Pokemons that you would inspire a future dress? <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh yeah, so Pokemon Black White. Um, I actually haven't played a Pokemon game since maybe Pokemon Sapphire, Ruby Sapphire, mm -hmm. um, and that was back in like probably about five years, five or six years ago. Um, but um, but to be honest, I'm really only stuck on the original first generation 151 Pokemon because I feel like that was what I grew up with and. I feel like once it starts getting into the later series, like there's some really adorable Pokemon nowadays, but I don't know, I haven't really, I haven't really felt attachment with the rest of them. But I definitely encourage others, if they want to make Pokemon dresses of their favorite Pokemon, they should definitely do it. Oh my god, yeah, you're, you keep moving and it looks like a <laughs> <laughs> Is that a? Did she make that as well? Yes. Um. It's a actually an ultra ball, which is what you what's required to. It's the level, the the minimum level of poke ball that you need to catch a snorlax. Uh, but I would recommend a master ball personally because I think that's a guarantee to catch a snorlax. It's gonna be tricky because they're they're a little bit pesky. So. <laughs> um. But yeah, I made a, a ultra ball brooch and I pinned it onto a cuff bracelet so that. I can wear it like a little corsage. <laughs> oh, awesome.